So these are prototypes developed within a big European project called the Graphene Flagship. It's the first time that the European Union tries to bring together industries and academic institutions to develop a new technology based on graphene. Graphene is a new material, it's the thinnest material ever produced. It's just one atom thick that can make two-dimensional sheets very robust, very flexible and highly conductive. In particular, these have been pro uh, produced within this project in an uh, activity coordinated by Nokia. The, the goal is to make a wearable device with sensing all based on carbon, and in particular on graphene. So you have uh, printed electronic circuits made on graphene. This can be printed by an inkjet printer. Then this part instead is a strain sensor. So when you bend your finger, it will feel and change electrical conductivity. So you can feel when you are moving your finger. Then here we have another kind of sensor based on graphene oxide that will feel when temperature is changing or when you are touching something. So you can sense what is uh, when when uh, with your hand you are touching something. So all these signals are sent to an electronic circuit and can be translated to conventional electronics by graphene, then be used for an output and be analyzed in this way. And all this is based on, on graphene. Graphene in the, the wireless world, we're seeing many developments. We have companies who, who, who have got sensor devices. We have companies who have got uh, 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 devices for, for RFID tags, for security purposes as well. We're showing some of the early, early uh, supercapacitor research as well. We expect in the future we will see our mobile phones which will be on our wrist, which means that the phones will need to be more flexible. So we're now we're seeing graphene screens being made, which are much more flexible. Then we're also seeing we're seeing the early concepts already being 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 worked on for here. We also see flexible batteries as well, which are much more efficient than the, than the batteries currently being used. It means a shorter charge times. Your phone will be charged up in one minute. But we're also in terms of enabling, in terms of terabyte downloads in the future. We're also going to see the, the emergence of uh, modulators, optical modulators using graphene as well, which clearly will be a, a key enabler for 5G. We think the properties of graphene in combination with other materials offers multifunctionality. So one of the things you will see here at the show today, you'll see not just you can bend a phone, but you can incorporate sensors within that. So it might be a heart rate sensor, it may be a blood count, it may be a dehydration, different things can be can be, can be included in the graphene material itself. So multifunctionality is a key feature of what graphene can bring. We have something called heterostructures. So this is a new branch of two-dimensional materials. So everybody knows that graphene is one atomic layer thick, okay, which is fine, but hey, there's other two-dimensional crystals as well. And if you take other materials you, and put them on top of a graphene uh, 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 sample, you can build materials which are maybe 20 layers, all of which have a different functionality, be it photovoltaic, be it strength, be it a composite, a strengthening. Different things can be encompassed in the same material, including sensors as well. It gives enormous possibilities, and as someone said today, it's only limited by our imagination as to what we can do with graphene.